Peter Delapena here with USA Man of the Match. Kareem Agour, after an incredible performance in USA's 62 run win, it sounds like a big margin, but at the time when you had the ball, it wasn't anywhere close to that. Papua New Guinea was in control of the chase. Nisark Patel strikes to get the captain out, Asad Vala, but then you come in with a triple wicket maiden. You've done a lot of special things in the last five, six months for USA, but that's vaulting almost pretty much to the top of the list. Just take us through that over and, and what was happening that allowed you to be so effective in that situation. Well, when I came to bowl, my plan was just to bowl a lot of dot balls and try and get a maiden over. I had a plan to bowl to the left-handers and I executed it very well. There's been a lot of debate online about USA's first innings performance and now in the context of the match, seeing how you guys bowled and were able to defend it. It has been consistently a tough pitch, especially against spin bowling through the week. Whether it's you batting out there or you bowling, what has been the thing that has been causing the most difficulty in particular for, for players out there in the middle from your perspective? Well, the pitch is slow and it's not really bouncing a lot. So the ball really keeps a bit low and it spins a little. I asked this to Aaron Jones a couple days ago. He's somebody on the batting side who seems very unflappable, never seems to get flustered in, in the majority of situations. On the bowling side, it seems you're almost a carbon copy of, of that mentality. You never seem to get flustered no matter the situation. Going back to Bermuda, bowling, I think it was that 16th or 17th over with a wicket made in, in a very pressure pad situation. Here again today, not as much pressure, but in a situation where you're up against the wall coming through the way you did. What is it about the way you developed your cricket back in Antigua that allows you to succeed in these kind of situations? Well, back home while I was training, the guys used to give me the last few overs, whether it's 40 overs cricket or 2020, and I'd have to defend small runs against big guys like Rakim, Kadim, Philip, and that helped me build my confidence bowling in tough times. Monang Patel set up the victory in the first innings with that half century, especially coming as it did on a wicket like this that has been so difficult to bat on. What is it, from your perspective, and you spent a decent amount of time out there with him batting, what is it about his innings that stood out to you? Uh, Monang is a guy that played play the ball late, and he is very technical, so basically he assessed the pitch very well and played accordingly. You guys got one match to go tomorrow to try and finish this home tri-series undefeated. What are you taking out of this vic victory today and, and what have you learned from the first time around against the Namibia that gives you the confidence that you'll be able to close out the series with four wins in four matches? Once we play basic cricket and stick to the basics, everything will go well.